we're going to use a formula called mass percent. So mass percent of whatever you're looking for, it's usually going to be an element, is the mass of the element in one mole of the compound over the molar mass of the compound. And then if you're doing a percent, you would do times 100. Or you can leave it in decimal form. So it's going to look kind of strange, but we're just going to make a fraction and we're going to look at our formula. So let's find the mass percent of, it doesn't really matter, one of these molecules, um, chlorine. So we want to know how much chlorine is in a CCL2F2 molecule. So we know that, and again, if you want to calculate your molar masses first, I'm going to show you how I set it up. You can, you can set it up a different way. So I'm going to get, I'm going to do how much chlor how many chlorines are in one of these molecules? Two, because the subscript is two. So I'm going to do two times whatever my molar mass of chlorine is, which is 35.45. So this is this is going to be our mass of chlorine. And you have to be careful here. Look at your formula because there's two of them. It's not always just one. All right, and then we're going to go over our total molar mass, which will be plus 2 times 35.45 plus 2 times whatever fluorine is, 19. So that's how I set it up. I don't put it in the calculator all in one step because I'm not good enough at pushing buttons. So I'm going to say 2 times 35.45. And then I got 156.36. That would be grams of chlorine, grams and then ultimately we'll do that math and we'll get a hundred or times a hundred. So seventy point nine. Forty five point three roundabout. 0.3% chlorine. <coughs> All right, so let's figure out in acetic acid. Let's do oxygen. Same procedure. So here we're going to have our mass of oxygen. So oxygen weighs 16. There are two of them, and the rest of this is just your standard molar mass calculation. I got 60.06 .06 for my molar mass. Grams, grams. Times 100 there. Fifty-three point three. Something like that.
Is this working out okay so far? Let's make it a little harder. If somebody consumes how much? 22 grams of sodium chloride per day. How much sodium does that person consume? All right. I guess first we should write our formula for sodium chloride. What is it? NaCl. Na is plus one. Cl is minus one. So we are charge balanced. <coughs> What's well, going to be a proportion? So you can solve it as a proportion. I generally don't do it that way, but you can. So the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out, well, how much sodium is in one molecule? What's the, what is our mass percent here? So I'm going to say mass of sodium over the mass of sodium chloride. So sodium is 23. There's only one of them over 23 plus 35.45. So 23 over 58.45. Now, who wants to do this as a proportion? Good. Nobody. I like that. Now, the key here, we, if you're going to do it this way, is don't multiply by 100. You're just going to have to divide by 100 again. So, do 23 divided by that. And that tells you that for every 1 gram of sodium chloride, there are 0 0.393 grams of sodium. So if a person ingests 22 grams of sodium chloride, you just multiply it out. And I'm not going to round off, I'm just going to... So that person of pure sodium consumes 8.6-ish six -ish grams of just sodium. Does that make sense? That's just when you divide this out? Only instead of multiplying by 100, I just multiplied by the mass that was given to me in the problem. You can also solve it this way if you like proportions. If you don't like proportions, don't write this down. You would set up your 23 over 58.45 just the same equals x over 22 solve the proportion anybody prefer to do it that way no okay don't do it that way if you like it great if you don't you're gonna get the same answer because you would do your cross multiply 23 times 22 divided by 58.45 you're gonna get the same answer Oh, let's take a complicated formula. So we're going to have the mass of oxygen. And we are going to have 7.2 grams of aluminum sulfate. So we're going to work this the same way that we worked this one. Let's figure out our composition first. How much oxygen, what percent of it is in a molecule. So we'll do mass oxygen over mass molecule. How many oxygens are in this molecule? 12. 12. 4 times 3 is 12. Oxygen weighs 16. That's correct. Alright, so now we're going to have our calculation on the periodic table. How many sulfurs do we have? Three. 
32.07. All right, so that's a big long number there. My molar mass, I got 342.17. Yes, no, maybe. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get my decimal. If you want to set it up as a proportion, that's fine. So, you would set your that equal to x over 7.2. If you want to do that, remember your unit is grams. I got 0 0.561 and then I'm going to multiply that by 7.2 grams. There are no units on this because it's grams over grams so it's just a ratio. This is where you get your units for grams for your final answer. 4.04? So there are 4.04 grams of oxygen. All right. I'm going to go over the steps and we're going to do one of these today. Then we'll pick up on it next week, but I, but I want to start on